Okay, we're over here at Denison Dam. It's about seven o'clock. You can see that they're not generating. Water flow is at a minimum. And things are really low. And I'm not sure where we're gonna fish today. So I'm just gonna play it by ear. I may try the Oklahoma side since I got my Oklahoma license. Ran over to the Oklahoma side. Let's go check it out here. Just gonna check it out. All right, there it is from the Oklahoma side. Let's go take a look down over here and see what we got. It's a little chilly, it's about 41 degrees, so uh, I gotta bundle up. <laughs> Let's see, special restrictions here. Oh yeah, so, gotta keep that in mind. I like that they have that up here now. Cool beans. Let's go take a look over here. See that they're not generating. They are uh, have a slight discharge of water up here. Other than that, it's chilly. Yeah, looks like there's some water movement here. So down that way. Let's go check it out. Let's go bundle up and then uh, give it a shot here in a little bit. We're gonna start out here on the Oklahoma side, and it's got big casting gear in this case and a bubble fly rig. And then maybe later on we may try in the river itself. For now, let's just see if there's anything biting. All right, here we are. Let's see what happens. Didn't get anything over there, but we saw some movement over there by the wall. So, oh, someone just got one over there. Cool beans. Looks like he's using bait. All right. So they're here. Just got to use bait. And let's go look over here and see if we can find something. Okay, so the plan was to do some switch rod fly fishing, but instead we uh, see that they're biting on shad. So we got some shad, and we've got some weights, and we're going to do a jig and fly rig, but we'll add some shad to it if need be. And yours truly forgot his harness, so I'm going to have to do some uh, different video angles to get the uh, action shots for this one. All right, more to come. Okay, here's the rig we're using. It's got a float, and we got the jig. And right now we just got some... Uh, power worm we got them hitting on that but they're hitting shad so we're going to shift the shad here in a moment and um no hopefully we'll catch uh, enough to have dinner what do you say all right first fish of the day got a little striper on that jig and fly rig tip with some shad of course all right cool beans okay here's a view of the dam where we're fishing and here's what we're doing got a fly with a tip with some some shad and then we got the float came here with some switch uh, gear but unfortunately that's not what the the tactic is so we'll have to change our technique today and today is just basically floating jig rig using bait casting gear uh, this is a bait casting gear I just normally keep in the uh, in the little pickup so I only brought my fly rod the switch rod but good thing I had this in the backup and luckily Dave's ski and tackle had the material I needed which was some more shad and some weights along with these big flutes. Getting a hit right now. And what's nice is when the bait comes off, you have an opportunity to get them on the fly also. And so far we've got one keeper. All right, I think we got a, a little fish that hit it. Little striped bass on the little fly that we're using. So this one went for little chartreuse craft fur fly real tiny it's about maybe eight inches non keeper all right let's get another cast in and let's see if we can get a bigger one maybe we just kind of let it drift along and we're also giving a little action by just kind of bringing in the, the line a little bit just kind of sweeping with it it's kind of keeping the the float in view or at least tight enough so we can set the hook and what's nice you can actually see them pick at it as you bring it in there's a hit there he goes another little guy here he comes right there all right that one just hit it with the jig so maybe we might be able to hit him just with the a correction with the craft for Clouser minnow, so maybe we can get them to do it again. They're little, but they're still fun to catch and good op or a good uh, demo as to being able to fish without um, a 
fly rod but still being able to fish with flies and so this is a floating jig rig there's a hit right there it's getting getting popped at so if I have my fly rod right now and I was closer down below I might be able to get him yeah he's hitting it now just lost that one and it's a steady retrieve basically or just a stop and go put on some bait here in a moment and see if we can get a bigger guy but let's see if we can get one to hit just on the fly there's one hitting it swept at it okay, this one hit it on the fly no bait again he's one of those little guys so hey that counts at least for fun all right, we got uh, two that we kept and we've caught a bunch of these little guys and we're finding this Venice lunch money is working perfect on this uh, float and jig rig or float and fly rig. So uh, it's working. We're able to fish flies without a fly rod, especially up here. This is pretty high up over here at the uh, Oklahoma side of the Oklahoma wall at Denison Dam. All right, let's let this guy go. Venice lunch. Okay, here's one. We're gonna let this one go. We've been keeping some of these, but we got three right now in the bag. And we're gonna get picky now. Been catching a lot of these little guys on the uh, Bennett's lunch, this guy. And then uh, we'll put shad on there. When the shad goes away, they still hit it. So that's good news. All right, this one went for the Bennett's lunch after the shad fell off and oh yeah. Let's make them look bigger. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Well, let's let him go. All right. Here's the setup we're using. It's just basically a, a, a Shakespeare a Cabela's bait casting rod that we picked up several years ago. We just keep it in the car, ready to go at any time. Mainly for the goldfish camera. And good thing we had it this round. Okay. Just out there is our float, and we got it with some shad. When the shed comes off, we'll start bringing it in. We'll just treat it like a fishing fly. Go from there, and you can see something's kind of hitting it right now. Doing some pretty good hits on it. So maybe we might get a maybe, maybe we might get a fish this time. It's nice as uh, when we lose our shad, we're still able to get some hits. Like right now, we don't have any shad on there. The jig's on there, or uh, just the fly, and just kind of popping it through, getting them to chase. And we can see a few of them chasing it. Oh, missed that one. All right, well, let's go try it again. So we've been uh, starting out with some bait on the Bennett's lunch, and then as it comes off, we just fish it without the bait. So let's give it a shot here. Nice one, looked at it. There's a hit. Over there. We can get him, cast it out again. There he goes. Oh, he's on there briefly and then he stopped. Now there's a whole school of little guys playing with it. Oh, there's one running with it. There we go. Let's see what this guy is. Oh, he's bigger. All right, this one's bigger. Still gonna be a little bit picky. All right, we'll go let this guy go. Cool beans. All right, they're there. All right, here we are again. We got the uh, float and about oh, about three feet of line. And we got the Bennett's lunch with the shad on there. When the shad falls off, we keep fishing it. Let's see if we can get another one to hit. Maybe a bigger one. What do you say? playing with it already just keep our line tight and we'll watch for it to go and he's running now still playing with it I think it's those little guys again oh that was a big hit oh he took it there we go he took it ah oh. Struck it again, a whole school of them now playing with it. Now we don't have any bait on there, so we're just gonna use the 
fly and they're still hitting it playing with it now. It's going to drag it in slowly. Uh, I think there's still bait on it. Let's go check it out. Oh, no, no bait. Let's go and cast it without bait and just do the straight jig or fly. Let it kind of settle in and then we'll to do this little poppy motion. See something trailing behind it right now. There he goes. Oh, missed him. <laughs> he was trailing behind it and then he took it. See, try that again. Let it settle in, and then we'll do that little poppy jiggy motion. There's one looking at it. Swiped at it. Another one swiped at it. There he goes. Little guy swiped it. Oh, he came off. All right. Let's see if we can do it again. No bait. Just a fly. I see something trailing behind it now. He swiped it. Another one swiped it. There. Oh. Another one swiped it. There he is. There he goes. He swiped it. These are little guys. So fly fishing without a uh, fly rod fun stuff. Okay, we're uh, moved a little bit further down to uh, where the current is. Let's see what that does. All right, this one we got a head on it. And we're just going to dump it right into the Grim Grimoire. Let's see what happens. Just let it drift along. Uh, luckily that fly may be able to get one to hit. There he goes. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Seems a little bit bigger. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger. But gonna have to hand them up. This may be the biggest one of the day so far. Let's just hand over hand them and see what happens. Got like 65 pound tests, so not too worried about the line. Yeah, he seems to be one of the bigger ones. All right. <laughs> All right, well, that's the biggest one of the day. And let's see if we can play around here again in the current and get another one to strike. And there's one hitting it. Here. All right. Fisher here. Cool. All right. That's a smaller one. Cool beans. All right, let's try it again. Right in the current. Oh, you got my fly. <laughs> All right, well, that's cool having the uh, fly on there. Still get an opportunity to catch something. Even though it's small, it's still fun. All right, let's do another drift. There's one. There briefly. Oh no, he's still on. All right, let's see what this guy's doing. Yeah, I'm a little guy. All right, well, ended up uh, living it out over here at uh, Denison Dam at the tail race. Ended up fishing on the Oklahoma side. Brought the uh, switch rod, but guess what? Ended up using some uh, jig and fly. Uh, float and fly rig with some shad along with uh, a couple of flies that we switched out They were hitting on the shad then they would hit the fly after the shad came off. So hey, that's fun stuff still All right, here's a view of the fish that we caught today All right, all on shad as well as on jigs or that fishing fly the craft fur Clouser minnow as well as the Bennett's Bennett's lunch And I think the Bennett's lunch is the one that they wanted better or more 
all right so the uh, biggest one was this one and it went oh, about 16 inches everything else is small but hey, there's no size limit and we got enough to uh, I think it's like a, a number limit five so we got enough to do some black and striped bass all right mm -hmm. 